I will show you in this video everything about gaming on Linux. Let's start. In the first part of the video I will talk about the best Linux distribution for gaming. Then I come to native Linux gaming and in the end we will cover Windows games on Linux, how to run them at easiest and with high success rates. So I would say let's start. At first let us come to the best Linux distribution for gaming. I personally would say choose the Linux distribution you want to use because in the end every Linux distribution is based on the Linux kernel and because of it there isn't a big difference between games on for example Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Manjaro and so on. But if you are gamer and you are on Windows and you don't have a Linux distribution, many gamers recommend Pop! OS because it integrates very very well with your graphic cards and has very up-to-date drivers for your hardware. So if you don't have a Linux distribution already, choose Pop! OS, otherwise stay on your Linux distribution you are currently on because there are no such big differences. I would say let us come to the next chapter, native Linux gaming. I have three sites I would recommend you for native Linux gaming and the first one is Steam. I think many of you know Steam already. It is a big library with many many games, about 20,000 and you see on the icons here if they are running on Linux or not. On Steam the Linux icon is the Steam logo itself because Steam also has a Linux distribution for gaming. So just look out for the Steam logo on beside the other operating system logos. Then you know this game works quite good with Linux and is natively officially supported. There's also a Steam client on your Linux distribution available on Linux Mint. I open up the software manager and here we see two different Steam versions. At first the Linux Mint package and the second one the FlatHub package. If you have the choice choose the system package or the Linux Mint package in this case but I already didn't hear anything bad about the Steam client on FlatHub. So in this case I would also say this is up to you which you prefer. So that's it for Steam. There are other two sites with great Linux games which are natively available. For example GOG.com here we have many games and just look out for the Linux logo here then you know okay this game is officially supported for Linux. I will also show you a GOG client later in this video. But you can also download the Linux games here and run these games within seconds. Also another great site for gaming on Linux is itch.io. It is a indie game platform. Just have a look at it. There are sometimes very good games which I can definitely recommend. You can also choose the popular tag Linux games and then see every Linux game which is officially supported by the developer. Perfect. Also we have some native Linux games too which are completely available in the software manager by itself. For example let us head to games here and here we see many games which I definitely recommend. For example Supertux Card, Vesnot, Supertux, Zero AD, OpenTTD, Mindtest, Warzone, 2100 and there are many other very cool games which I definitely recommend to have a look at them. And also if you want to get almost every Linux game which is available free have a look to flathub.org. Here you can choose browse the apps and choose games here and here are many games I think about 477 which are waiting for you and are completely free. Okay sometimes it's just the launcher like Minecraft but almost every game on this site is completely free and these games are also integrated in your software manager if you have a good Linux distribution like Linux Mint, Pop! OS, Trust Engine, 
you have Flatpak installed and integrated in your system. So that was it for native Linux games. Let us come to the special part, how to run Windows games on Linux. You saw in the last minutes that there are many games which aren't natively supported for Linux. But there are a lot more games which are distributed just for Windows, which are working very, very good with Linux. So I would say, let's start. At first, I start with Steam, or better to say Steam Play. It's a Vine wrapper, which Valve Software released some years ago, which is called Proton. How to enable Proton? Just let's head over to Steam on the left, upper side here, head up to settings and then select Steam Play. And here I selected enable Steam Play for supported titles and also enable Steam Play for all other titles. And I recommend you to select the latest version here, which is in my case currently Proton 7.06. So just select it, select OK, and then you can download and install every Windows game found on your store or have in your library. For example, in my library is Ozymandias or The Sims 4, and both games aren't released for Linux, but they work quite good with Linux. For example, I choose in this case Ozymandias, which is a great strategy game indie game. I love this game. Just hit play on here and everything is downloaded. The first time you install and download a Windows game takes a bit of time because it is downloading some runners as well. But after that, yeah, just let's have a look how Ozymandias is working. Here is Ozymandias. Perfect. In my case, it's in German. I hope that's okay for this moment. And um, yeah, I can play the story campaign or single player and um, yeah, and play this game like on Windows. I very like it. And you can do this with many other games. And that and that's now the question. How do you find out if a game runs on Linux? I open up for that protondb.com which is a huge site for Steam games, which run under Proton, which is, like I explained some minutes before, a special version of Vine, which is a kind of emulator for Linux, but it's not an emulator. It's unimportant for us. So I can search here for every game, for example, search for Ozymandias, and here you see, okay, this game works very well, because Platinum is very good. So um, you can also ch choose Explore here, for example. Here you see all big games which are running and which are not running on Linux. For example, Cyberpunk runs very, very good. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege runs not on Linux. Okay, here you see reputation of every game and then you know in the end, okay, does it run it with Linux or not? Should I give it a try or not? For example, let us head over to Cyberpunk 27.7. Here we see some reputation runs amazingly well with these optimized stock settings. Here, for example, some settings are recommended for the game on Linux. And yeah, you see here many good reports. So I would recommend in this case, this game on Linux. There's also another platform if you don't have a Steam game, where to look if this game does run on Linux. The site is called appdb.vinehq.org and here you can search, for example, for Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars, The Sims 3, Adobe programs, <laughs> .NET Framework, okay, and other titles which are working. For example, I can search for EVE Online in this case. And here we see, okay, the latest rating is gold, which means this game also works on Linux. So if your game isn't published on Steam, how do you otherwise get a Windows game running on Linux? And I personally recommend for this Lutris.net and install Lutris on almost every Linux distribution out of the box. Just search for Lutris and here we see, okay, Lutris on FlatHub and a Linux Mint package. 
I personally am using the FlatHub package. I installed it already. We can launch it and um, then you see, yeah, you can play many games on Lutris, not the actual ones, not only the actual ones, but also some very old games because Lutris comes with many emulators right out of the box, which is a great opportunity. And how to install such a game, for example, search on Lutris.net for the game, for example, EVE Online. Here we have EVE Online. I selected and here you see different install and here you see different options for installer. Just look at them and yeah, maybe try them out. I personally recommend the latest installers. In this case, this installer is here for before two months and one week. So I select install here and select open link. This is okay for me. And then after some time, a Lutris window opens where we can click install and Lutris does everything for us. I select install and it is downloading Vine for us. It is downloading the EVE launcher for us. It does almost everything for us, which is great. And after some time, you are also able to play some more Windows games on Linux. These both methods are the most promising ones, but I also want to mention some other two cool projects, which is for example, bottles. Here we have it and you can also install some apps right out of the box. For example, the Ubisoft Connect Store, Epic Games Launcher, Steam, GOG, EA, Star Citizen, FL Studio and some other cool programs and just look for them. They are very promising. Bottles is also installable just right off the software manager, search for bottles and here we have it, run Windows software. I personally recommend it more to Windows software, not to Windows games, because in my opinion, Lutris does at the best. But yeah, choose the one you are liking at most and which is working for you, of course. Also, in the end, I want to mention the Heroic Games Launcher. This is very good for GOG and Epic Games. You can install GOG or Epic Games by just hitting the download button and clicking on play. But you can also browse through the shops of GOG and Epic Games, buy some games or just install them with a click. For that, you also need the Vine Manager, for example, for games which aren't released for Linux. But this is kind of more advanced and I personally have better experience with Steam and Lutris in this case. Perfect. I hope I could help you giving you an overview how to install games on Linux. Just a disclaimer, not every game is working, but I would say about 98% are working quite good. And I can personally say you don't get bored through games on Linux. You can't play them all. Just have a look. There are many very good games which are working natively in Linux, but also are working very, very good in Linux. So that was it for today. If you want to know how to run Windows software on Linux, I also made a video some weeks ago. I will put you the link into the video description. And if this video helped you, like this video, write a comment and subscribe to Linux Guides to don't miss any new video in the future. Have a nice day. Good luck. Have fun. Bye.